Hey folks, welcome to the Dark Hollow Garage. All right, so this is part two of the 46 Chevy truck barn find. So we're going to move on here. If you saw the first one, uh, we're getting into uh, the fuel system now. The fuel tank was filthy. I couldn't clean it out. It was just jammed full of this tar. So I got this keg when I was working at Harley from a customer who heard about my plight of the fuel tank in this old truck that I had acquired. And uh, he gave me this keg. And uh, here in this picture, you can see we got her chained in there. And uh, on the top of it, I used a marine flip top. Um stainless cap now the old split rims that this truck came with nobody works on those anymore they're too dangerous so i got uh, being an eight lug truck uh, three quarter ton truck the newer wheels also fit the same lug pattern so we're ready to rock and roll and here's the wonderful clean interior <laughs> this is what we're going to be driving in we're getting ready to take her on her first road trip we're going to need a tetanus shot as you can see by the dash and the door photograph here but it'll get cleaned up soon we are now back from the first test drive first time she's been on the road since 1996 and let me tell you something that that was a that was a white knuckle ride i wasn't sure what to expect i did have to learn how to double clutch these trucks didn't have synchro transmissions so my first test drive it was interesting to say the least it was super hot I, I don't remember if this was July or August but uh, dust flying all through the truck I'm covered in sweat and dirt and uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna be walking home but by God there it is it's been on the road all right so here it is it was uh, day two um, the second day after my first test drive and I decided to take her up and put some gas in her look at that isn't that cool? I was walking back from inside the store, and I just had to snap a picture of it. So now I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with it. It's running great. It drives great. It rides smooth for an old farm truck. And got a lot of compliments right here at the gas station, second time I ever had it out. So here we go. We're going to clean her up some now. So I've driven it to work now, actually. Drove it to work. Showed everybody my rusty, crusty truck. Well... It's time to get the interior to where, you know, you don't need a shower after you've driven this thing. And uh, it's proven to me that, you know, it's actually somewhat trustworthy. I mean, it really doesn't give me any grief. So, time to clean up the interior. So, here's a few more pictures here. Getting things cleaned up. Painted. We decided to paint it silver on the inside. I don't know why. It just uh, The color just seemed to fit, I guess. Well, now, looky here. You don't need a tetanus shot anymore. She's got new carpet. Um, the pedals and the steering column are painted. Shifter's painted. Made a shifter boot out of some carpet down there. That e-brake actually works with that crazy lever on it. Um, all the dash works. The uh, temperature gauge and the speedometer. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It all works. It shows that it's charging the battery. Uh, we painted up on the top there, and we got the switch cleaned for the windshield wiper. The windshield wiper actually works now, and uh, that little there's a clock up there at the top um, above the windshield. I never did get that working, but uh, it's a pretty cool little feature. I'm not sure why they want a clock in that truck. Maybe for when you're out on the farm, you can see what time it is to come on in for dinner or something. I don't know. Now, check out that headliner. Here, we'll go to another picture here. Hang on, I'll show you that headliner, explain it. So, what do you use for a headliner in an old truck like this, you know? You could tell it had one at some time. It was probably, I don't know, a cardboard piece or something. But to me, old farm truck, we got to get us some potato sacks. Yep, I got me some potato sacks off of Evil Bay there and uh, cut them up, got them up in there. I uh, had to sew it a little bit and wrap it around one rod going through the middle. But, uh, yeah, potato sacks. 
I, I got a kick out of it. I couldn't help it. I had to do it. And now my wonderful wife, Wendy, is brave enough to take a ride with me because she, you know, nice clean interior now. So I took her out to Mel's Diner. Yeah, we got some looks there, too, in that old truck, I'll tell you. I don't know if you all know about the rod runs in Pigeon Forge, but uh, we went ahead and attended a rod run with it. And uh, this is a picture taken from the hotel balcony. We stayed overnight. My brother came up from Florida, and we went and uh, had fun with the old truck in the show. Here's a picture of me driving her at the rod run. Me and my brother and my sister-in-law out cruising around in the old truck. I asked my brother, I said, hey, why don't you take it down the strip? Yeah, it's nighttime now. You can see that by the picture. And he's like, all right, I'll take it. So my brother, Jody, and my sister-in-law, Lynn, they jumped in the old rusty, crusty truck, went out cruising the strip. Double clutching, baby. After parading her around in the Pigeon Forge Rod Run, Got her back to the house. Now, it is time to do a little paint something something with this thing coming up. So what you're seeing here on the left side is a satin clear coat. On the right side is after I washed everything with CLR uh, with the Scotch Bright pad, red Scotch Bright and CLR. Once it dried, I clear coated the left side, took this picture to show you the difference. And we got some got some cool finishing pictures coming up here. I started working on the wood bed, doing a clear coat to it with polyurethane. Now first I scrubbed it and pressure washed it. Whatever blue was left, that's it stuck. And it went through a pressure washing session, so I left it. And even left that old broken up board of a bumper down there. That's what blue was left on the sides, or at least on the driver's side. And I started polyurethane clear coating it, getting it looking a lot nicer now. And down below in the on the wheel, that wheel hub down there, it's got all brand new seals and everything in it also. We're getting the clear coating done on it, getting the paint looking better. Uh, it's time for a new wood bed too. It was pretty rotten. So we got that done also. Well, here she is. She's all clear coated bed's fixed up I was out doing a trash run with it this day I took this picture let me tell you man that 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 is one cool old truck I'm telling you I mean I even got under there and cleaned the frame up and painted it and everything too and I just I had a blast driving that old truck I really did um, turns out I came across another 46 Chevy truck and I ended up selling this one to fund building the other one which i'll have a narrated video on it too i'm sorry it's narrated but we only took pictures back then we weren't doing any videotape back then so well, that's it on the rusty crusty truck i hope you enjoyed the uh, slideshow with narration and uh, we'll catch you on the next one thank you folks